Welcome back to Pico Strap, a super lightweight starter theme implementing Bootstrap and SAS in WordPress. In the WordPress customizer, below the elements marked with the purple B that we have illustrated in the former video number two, we have some more useful settings panels, which are related to more classic WordPress features. The first one is the main navigation bar, which of course controls the main menu of the site. Let's take a look at what we can do in here, but first of all, an important notice. If you are using the Live Canvas plugin, you can enable the Handle Header option. This does completely replace the theme's header and navigation bar with a fully customizable bespoke header. So all the settings we're going to describe now only apply if you do not enable the Handle Header option in Live Canvas. But now, let's leave Live Canvas on the side and go back to the theme's built-in navbar and explore the theme's built-in customization options. First of all, we have the navbar expansion setting. This allows you to select at which screen size the navbar collapses to a hamburger. So basically, thinking mobile first, as we should, the navbar is always collapsed on mobile and expands to a full-blown menu bar at the chosen screen size. We can also decide to leave the menu always collapsed using the first option. So it will always be closed in a hamburger or set a specific breakpoint for expansion, according to our design needs and the number of elements we have in our menu. Let's go to the next setting. The navbar position allows to choose where the menu is displayed. You can place the navbar in three positions or remove it completely. You can have a standard static on top menu so that scrolling the page you won't see it anymore, or a fixed menu that will be always visible also when scrolling the page, and you can have it on top or the bottom of the viewport. Let's move on. Below we have this checkbox labeled Enable Page Scrolling Detection. Let's step back a bit and provide some context for this. A popular effect that you've probably seen on many sites is to have a fixed navbar that shrinks when the page is scrolled. This effect is very easy to achieve and to customize in PicoStrap. Selecting the Enable Page Scrolling Detection checkbox will add some simple JavaScript that adds classes to the body CSS element according to scroll position. Like the description below the checkbox it says, this option adds different classes to the body element according to scroll position. Use this feature in combination with the nap or position set to fixed for best results. You can also customize the effect via CSS. The relevant CSS to customize is in sass slash picostrap.scss, where comments mention scroll. This file contains some useful comment lines that help you get started and tweak this cool feature. Let's move to the next options. The navbar background color, of course, is pretty self-explanatory, allowing you to customize the background color of the navigation menu bar. You can choose any of the bootstrap colors that we've seen how to customize in the first video. There is also an option to have a transparent menu. Please note that transparent menus make sense with the navbar position set to fixed on top. Below, you have the color scheme setting that affects the menu item's colors. The last option is a checkbox to enable the default search form on the navbar. Now let's step to the next options panel labeled Optional Top Bar. This feature lets you add an additional top bar to your header with your own HTML content. This can be extremely useful, for example, to show the business contact details in a prominent way. So let's tick the Enable Top Bar checkbox. The text area below will be initialized with some demo content and the top bar will show up on the site. As written in the description below the checkbox, if using the top bar, you may want to have the navbar position set to standard static top in the main navigation bar settings panel. This way the top bar will sit above the main navigation bar. Otherwise, if you have the navbar position set to fixed on top, the top bar will show below the navbar and will of course disappear upon scrolling. Let's go back to the top bar panel. By the way, in our default demo content, We've been adding on purpose four contact example links to call a phone number, to send a WhatsApp message, to send an email, and to open an address in Google Maps. You can fully customize the contents of the top bar with your own HTML content, of course. You can resize the text area to make things a bit easier and code it as you want. To reset it and have again our starter example code, just empty the text area 
and tick the enable checkbox a couple times. Further below, there are two settings for customizing the top bar background color and the top bar text color. Of course, you can customize those to match your taste and brand. Let's go back to the customizer overview. The next item is the menus element. This is the standard WordPress tool to handle menu items. The Pico Strap theme does define a primary and a secondary menu location. You can see those clicking view all locations. Only the primary menu location is implemented by the theme and is used for the main navigation bar. The secondary menu location is not actively shown but can be recalled using the live canvas menu shortcode or some custom PHP code. Now let's show a quick example of how a basic menu works. This belongs to standard WordPress behavior, but can be useful for who's not too familiar with it. We need to create a menu if you haven't yet. Add some pages links in here and assign it to the primary menu. There is an interesting feature that's not always obvious, how to build a nested navigation. You can nest items dragging the menu items slightly on the right. Please note that if you do this, the parent link won't navigate, and upon being clicked, it will only open the drop-down menu by design. Of course, this makes a lot of sense. So it's advisable to use a dummy link as a parent, for example, a custom link that points to a hash. Let's do it now to quickly show to do a proper nested navigation. Okay, now let's show you another small trick for menus. Clicking the caret icon on the right of each menu item, a panel is revealed. Here you can customize the menu item label, which can be handy to make things shorter sometimes, and you can also add custom CSS classes. To enable the full list of item navigation options, please go back to the menu panel and click the cog icon. An advanced menu properties will be revealed. Let's activate the CSS classes. OK, go back to the primary menu. For example, let's add some bootstrap classes to a menu item and see how we can use this trick to highlight a menu element, changing its background. These classes are applied to a menu item wrapper, so you can't directly reference the link item itself. For example, link primary to change the link's color won't work. But you still can do many nice tricks, especially adding your own custom classes. Okay guys, that's it. I hope this video has been useful for you. If this was the case, I'd really appreciate if you click the like button. By the way, in order not to miss our next updates, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.